There's a beast of a car that's just come out that I'm so keen to drive. I've come to the factory in deepest Germany just to get my hands on it. We're not waiting for the hot and sunny press junket. Instead, we're putting up with a bleak and grey Munich to collect a car as early as possible from BMW HQ. In a Mercedes, just to be cheeky. We're after their newest hot rod. I've come to get this, the all new BMW Z4 M Roadster. Now, until we clear the premises, I have to remember that I'm an ambassador for the programme and must be respectful at all times. The roads around Munich are dull as dishwater, so we're heading straight for the place where BMW test drivers make their final checks to the cars, the Alps. Germany is just behind us. We're heading into Austria. Let's get after it. The Z4M costs about 43 grand, so it's about the same price as the M3. It's got the same fantastic 340 brake horsepower straight six engine, but it's even lighter. So that means it's even faster. Now, I heard reports that this uh, Z4M is a bit of an animal, a bit unwieldy, almost like a modern AC Cobra. Well, I disagree. Yes, if you turn off the, the electronic toys, it can be a bit nervous at times, but only if you drive it like a fool. It is a bit back to basics, but that's what a roadster should be. But one area where the Z4M is definitely as leery as the AC Cobra is outright performance. Like 0-60 in five seconds, for example. And just to demonstrate how spectacular that is, I'm going to be showing you one of AC Cobra's old sales tricks. Now, Ian, our faithful director, will be the guinea pig. Carol Shelby, back in the 60s, used to place a £20 note on the dashboard. And if under hard acceleration, the customer could take it off the dash, it was theirs. Let's see if you can get it. <laughs> Look, in, in, my, in, my quest, in my quest not to give Ian the 20 euro nose, I appear to have pulled the gear lever clean off his mountings. Mm. It's the Germans, you know? <laughs> they make things so well. Mm. So now, we've glued the old girl back together, the gear stick's back on, take two. So, you know the drill, Ian? Don't be reaching early, it's my money, that is. Ready? Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, I'm at 60 mile an hour. Keep your hands off, that's my dough. It's quite impressive, though, isn't it? It's very, yeah. Yeah, genuinely couldn't reach it. I'll be having that. Thank you very much. That's mine now. Two grand to fix the cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, all the controls match the car's personality. I mean, the clutch is heavy. The gearbox, that's heavy, too. The steering. They've done away with this fancy electronic system and put on, they've gone back to basics, if you like, and put on a hydraulic system. It gives more feel, make, makes, it, uh, makes it a heavier turn in. It's a, it's a proper sports car. It's how they should feel, stiff and taut. You know, this is a car when you're thrashing around dodgy little roads like we are now. You have to have a little bit in reserve. You have to give it you know, a certain amount of respect. That can't be said of other cars. You know, that can't be said of the Porsche Boxster. Porsche is so accomplished, almost too easy to drive on the ragged edge. This is, um, I wouldn't say it's a bit of an animal, but I would say you've got to think about what you're doing. Now, as you can see, I've carefully applied dirt to the car to demonstrate one of my long-held beliefs. A filthy car is a cool car. Not caring about a chamois and a sponge is far more likely to impress the ladies than saying your hood deploys in a record-breaking 10 seconds.
I tend to treat all my cars like ashtrays, and it's never failed. Take note, boys. So, here's the big question. Should you buy a Z4M Roadster? Well, it's a tough call, given that the Porsche Boxster S is three and a half grand cheaper and almost as quick. But whereas the Porsche is like listening to a CD on a top-notch hi-fi, the BM is like standing in front of a speaker at a rock concert. It's a simple formula, a big engine in a small chassis, and I love it.